And now gently bringing our attention to the experience more particularly that we, that we know is the body. Just feel your body, your sweet body. How do you do that? What does that mean? Usually it means uh, I'm going to come to my body with a with a with a with an, an agenda to soften it, to relax it, to open it, to let the energy move to this, to that. But in this moment, I don't have any agenda with, with this invitation. I don't have any memory or image or concept of the body, just, just welcoming the realm of sensations, tactility, sensuality, touch, breath, weight, and also emotion. That, that would be what I refer to as the body. So it doesn't, it, it's not going to appear as anything that if you were to draw it would look like the physical body. Much more creative. And feel that you, you, don't, you don't live in this body. It's a very habitual, conditioned feeling that we have that I live in this envelope called the body. And it, this envelope needs to be cohesive and it needs to be sort of predictable and a bit like a car, like I can drive it and if something's wrong, I can sort of fix it or sometimes I can't fix it, but it's, it's my body bag. It's, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's my cage. That's how we usually feel the body and then we feel that we live in it and that's how, how this, this sort of sense of being a separate self feels. I mean, and you know, we can later discuss that it's also very natural that it's not all bad, it's not all wrong, but it's good to challenge it a bit. And in this moment, feel a radical shift, feel that I don't live in the body. I this openness, this presence that we were evoking. I don't live in a body that's way too confining. I, I don't really live anywhere that's delineated. And therefore the body, it really, it lives in me. Just be open to that. the body, my body, living in me, that which perceives it, that, that which knows it. And it doesn't mean that sometimes I don't sort of marry the form of the body, the feeling form of the body We, we do, we are conditioned to do that. But it's also true that in stillness and meditation, we, don't, we no longer need to, t to espouse the form of the body. We can observe the body, we can welcome it, we can liberate it. For, for, the, for the length of our exploration, the body can be free of having to be 
that body back for a somebody. So feel that that's the case right now, that my body, your body, is being welcomed in openness. And that there's not any knowing moment by moment. of how the body feels, is going to feel. No certainty about the body. Only certainty about I, that which perceives the body. Feel the edges of your body, just the borders, not with your visual memory, feel with your tactile sense. Maybe you feel the touch of your clothes against your arms. You feel the temperature of the air touching your face, tingling of your fingers. And of course, the place where your body contacts the, surf the surface, the support of the chair or the cushion. And feel that, that border, that feeling of a border. Give it permission to be what it is, a sort of fuzzy, fuzzy, lively, open sensation. As if the, the pores of your skin and the sense of touch where the clothes and the skin meet, we're, we're, we're getting the message you're alive, you're intimately connected with a space beyond. You're not dense. And also the place where the body meets the chair, the earth. Here it's a bit different, right? There's a feeling that we call weight. So feel where your pelvis and your hips and thighs and your knees and calves and your feet meet the surface of the earth. And the habitual feeling is a sort of resistance, a sort of feeling of hardness. I live in the body and then the earth, the support, it's not me, it's different, it's other. There's a slight defense. See if you can just, as if you were waving your magic wand. And in that waving, surrender the weight of your lower body to gravity. empty. I don't need to hold the weight. I am weightless. Take time because there are many layers that will be saying, no, 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 I do need to hold my weight, not just in my hips, in my jaw, in my shoulders, in my hands, in my heart. I am holding on for dear life. So 
So when that happens, you feel that. You just say, yes, I know. I welcome you. Oh, fear. And then again, you feel the, the totality of your body. You feel the contact with the earth. And you evoke your weightlessness and the unconditional safety that is your true nature. And you let the body be permeated with that possibility. And you empty, empty your arms, your armpits, your shoulders dropping because they can feel that. Don't do it, just feel that it happens. Your arms, you don't see them, you don't remember them, you just feel them. Maybe they become a little bit liquid like two rivers. And the hands, the palms are the deltas of the rivers. And the water flows down from the shoulders through the hands into the vast ocean beyond. Liquid arms, and don't worry, it won't happen necessarily. It's not meant to be a success story, this yoga. It's meant to be a rekindling with the body. Is the breath perceptible? Hello, breath. I don't know anything about you in this moment. I left everything I know about you at the door of the shrine. Belly expanding. Is it allowed? In breath and belly expanding. Out breath, belly, soft, welcome all the layers, no right, no wrong, no agenda, no reason. A reason to do this other than just, I don't know, loving? Feel your face. The mask. Here. For most of us, when we bring our gentle attention to the face, maybe it's uh, the mask of suffering that first comes, or the mask of tension. Give it a bit of space, feel your forehead, feel your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your lips your mouth, your jaw, your ears, your skull. Hello, face.
and then sort of show the face with your tactile intelligence that remind the face look you're not a fixed wax mask you're actually a cacophony of sensation Feel your lips, feel the little bubbles of tension in your lips, beginning to say, ooh, we can, we can bubble up. We can kiss the space beyond. Feel all the density behind the forehead coming to life because the headquarters, the guys, the bureaucrats have gone for the night. They're gone. They're, we've left them outside the shrine. So the forehead and the, the eyeballs, they're, they're like, yay, they're gone. Let them come to life. They, They start to make weird somersaults in the openness. Feel your ears. They don't have to work on behalf of any anyone. They're just alive. Penetrate the entrance of your ears. Feel the tender, subtle sensitivity right inside your ears. Tell them you're off duty, guys. Feel yourself. Feel the ear canals widening, maybe. I don't live behind a face. I, I, at the moment, I have no need of a face. I am openness. So my dear face, you can just have fun. 